Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while since I made a video. I've been living on Gentoo here for a few months now and most everything's gone pretty smoothly. But I thought I'd start, because every once in a while you get a hiccup, uh, I thought I'd start doing a series of videos of kind of living with Gentoo. I think I talked about that in my last one, but I figure I'll start that back up now. So I've been uh, living on Gentoo for a while. Started out with a KDE4 and did the upgrade to, the, to Plasma 5. Everything's going pretty well. That upgrade was actually pretty easy. Um, shouldn't be too much trouble you find some good uh, uh, tutorials online but every once in a while you get kind of a funny uh, issue like I had one here um, I was doing a big world update here and I ran into a, uh, a lot of KDE stuff update or plasma stuff update but I ran into an issue with Maria database so if, if I can scroll yeah um, you got error you get errors like this sometimes so if you go through and you end up getting an error set up stack like this. It looks, this is pretty much a typical, oops, Gen 2 error. So what you do is you basically kind of read through this. So it was with MariaDB, so you look for the error point. Oops, sorry about that. A little, this Tmux is a little temperamental. But you look through here and you see, uh, the issue I had here was with, what do you call it? Uh, uh, up here, this plugin federated X. So I screwed around with uh, looking at the, uh, you know, the first thing that you typically do is you do things like EIX uh, Maria D DB, and it'll you go through this and maybe even do kind of an emerge. Oops, I didn't mean to put the in there. You do something like this, and it'll come up with what your use flags are going to pull in and I basically looked for a Maria DB or a, a, a federated X and I don't see it here there's no federated X I read some things online I did kind of like a Google search and said something about sometimes there was a calling an SSL would fail so you just do a minus SSL in your um, like if you go to etc portage uh, use and you do something like uh, bam maria db you put something like if you got an ssl failure you just do something like minus ssl or something like that and so it would not use the ssl flag so that's you know you should know if you're familiar with gentoo you should know that that's basically how you would do it but uh anyways i got with this one and i couldn't find any any package lists that mentioned fader edit x this uh, invalid value for pl uh, Plugin Federated X, did a Google search, couldn't really find it. So one one note I should say is uh, if I do, uh, uh, well, let's just do it this way. Vim dot make, oops, so I should do dot make dot conf. I have shortcuts for that. I am running on uh, AMD 64. So this means I'm pulling in unstable packages. So this has happened a few times where I get a package updated. It happened with my NVIDIA driver that turned my, you know, gave me the black blank screen, couldn't find screen, whatever, and couldn't boot up. So basically all you need to do is uh, revert back to, let's do it this way. Um, go to your dot mask. And you'll see I have a few of them in here. So you see NVIDIA is one of them. So we do a Vim NVIDIA. I just basically had to tell it to look for nothing bigger than these numbers here because I knew that older driver worked. So something similar there I had to do for MariaDB. And as you see here, 10.1.7 was uh, masked. That was the one, this specifically was the MariaDB that didn't compile. So again, that's pretty much all I did. I just rolled it back to a previous version and uh, when you do the uh, see now that it's 10.0.21 uh, so when they updated the 10.1 point whatever that was it uh, that one started to fail so it's not even listed here is it no but anyways that's that pretty much fixed it so I expect um, I should this should go through now and uh, anyways, that's kind of uh, my update for kind of living with Gentoo. 
everything else has been going pretty well. Uh, pretty much have everything running uh, on this system. But yeah, if you uh, if you have any issues like that, it's important that you go through. And again, I don't think it's no. Oh, there we go. You go through and you read the error message. And a lot of times, the, what it mentions in the first error message, like up here, this last thing. So found, 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 success, and you get this error message. Plug and make couldn't find this plugin federated. Usually, that'll point to your issue, and then you do some Google searches on that. But it's a little tougher if you're using that AMD 64 because uh, not many people are actually running it. Um, anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. But other than that, everything's going pretty smoothly. So I'll go ahead and get started with this, and we'll see you next time.